Many of them, however, disagree on exactly who will rule this new world order, and that is what causes them to sometimes pull in opposite directions while nevertheless proceeding toward the same goal. The Trilateral Commission is an elite group of some 300 very prominent business, political, and intellectual decision makers of Western Europe, North America, and Japan. This enterprise is a private agency that works to build up political and economic cooperation among the three regions. Its grand design, which it no longer hides, is a new world order. A key to the danger presented by the Trilateral Commission is its seminal piece, written for them by Harvard professor Samuel P. Huntington in the mid-70s. In the paper, Professor Huntington recommended that democracy and economic development be discarded as outdated ideas. He wrote the following as co-author of the book Crises in Democracy. We have come to recognize that there are potential desirable limits to economic growth. There are also potentially desirable limits to the indefinite extension of political democracy. A government which lacks authority will have little ability short of cataclysmic crises to impose on its people the sacrifices which may be necessary. Look at the Council on Foreign Relations. Many members, in fact the majority, never serve on the executive committees. They never go through any initiation of any kind. They are, in fact, the power base and are used to gain a consensus of opinion. The majority are not really members, but are made to feel as if they are. In reality, they are being used, and are unwilling or unable to understand. The executive committee is an inner core of intimate associates, members of a secret society called the Order of the Quest, also known as the Jason Society devoted to a common purpose. The members are an outer circle on whom the inner core acts by personal persuasion, patronage, and social pressure. That is how they bought Henry Kissinger. Rockefeller gave Kissinger a grant of $50,000 in the early 50s, a fortune in those days, and made dear old Henry a member of the CFR. Anyone in the outer circle who does not tow the mark is summarily expelled, and the lesson is not lost on those who remain. Do you remember the human desire to be a member of the elect? That is the principle at work. The Council on Foreign Relations has been the foremost flank of America's foreign policy establishment for more than half a century. The Council on Foreign Relations is a private organization of business executives, scholars, and political leaders that studies global problems and plays a key role in developing United States foreign policy. The CFR is one of the most powerful semi-official groups concerned with America's role in international affairs. It is controlled by an elect group of men recruited from the Skull and Bones and the Scroll and Key societies of Harvard and Yale, which are both chapters of a secret branch of the Illuminati known as Chapter 322 of the Order. The members of the Order make up the Executive Committee of the Council on Foreign Relations after undergoing initiation into the Order of the Quest, also known as the Jason Society. The Council on Foreign Relations is an offshoot sister organization to the British Royal Institute of International Affairs. Their goal is a new world order. Although it existed as a dinner club in New York, it did not take on its present power until 1921 when it merged with the Royal Institute of International Affairs and received its financial base from J.P. Morgan, the Carnegie Endowment, the Rockefeller family, and other Wall Street banking interests. The Council on Foreign Relations controls our government. 
Through the years, its members have infiltrated the entire executive branch, State Department, Justice Department, Central Intelligence Agency, and the top ranks of the military. Every director of the Central Intelligence Agency has been a member of the CFR. Most presidents since Roosevelt have been members. The members of the CFR dominate ownership of the press, and most, if not all, of America's top journalists are members. The CFR does not conform to government policy. The government conforms to CFR policy. I read top-secret documents while with Naval Intelligence that stated that President Eisenhower had appointed six of the executive committee members of the CFR to sit on the panel called Majesty 12, also known as Majority 12, for security reasons. Majesty 12 is the secret group that is supposed to control extraterrestrial information and projects. The document stated that Eisenhower had also appointed six members from the executive branch of government who were also members of the CFR. The total membership of Majesty 12 was 19, including Dr. Edward Teller and the six members from the Jason Scientific Group. Again, whether this is true or disinformation depends solely upon the existence of aliens. The CFR is a secret society in that it forbids the taking of notes or the publishing of minutes of its meetings. Any member who divulges the subject or any part of any conversation or talk that took place during a meeting is terminated. The goal of the Council on Foreign Relations is a new world order. Remember, never worship a leader. If you worship a leader, you then no longer have the ability to recognize when you have been deceived. The most powerful secret organization in the world is the Bilderberg Group, organized in 1952 and named after the hotel where its first meeting took place in 1954. The man who organized the Bilderberg Group, Prince Bernhard of the Netherlands, has the power to veto the Vatican's choice of any pope it selects. Prince Bernhard has this veto power because his family, the Habsburgs, are descended from the Roman emperors. Prince Bernhard is the leader of the black families. He claims descent from the house of David and thus can truly say that he is related to Jesus. Prince Bernhard, with the help of the CIA, brought the hidden ruling body of the Illuminati into public knowledge as the Bilderberg Group. This is the official alliance that makes up the world governing body. The core of the organization is three committees made up of 13 members each. Thus the heart of the Bilderberg Group consists of 39 total members of the Illuminati. The three committees are made up exclusively of members of all the different secret groups that make up the Illuminati, the Freemasons, the Vatican, and the Black Nobility. This committee works year-round in offices in Switzerland. It determines who is invited to the annual meeting and what policies and plans will be discussed. Every proposal or plan that has ever been discussed at an annual meeting of the Bilderberg Group has come to pass usually within one or two years following the meeting. The Bilderberg Group is directing the quiet war that is being waged against us. How can they do it? These are the men who really rule the world. Manley P. Hall, 33rd degree Mason, probably the most renowned expert on these subjects, wrote in his book, the Secret Destiny of America. For more than 3,000 years, secret societies have labored to create the background of knowledge necessary to the establishment of an enlightened democracy among the nations of the world. All have continued, and they still exist, as the order of the quest. Men bound by a secret oath to labor in the cause of world democracy decided that in the American colonies they would plan the roots of a new way of life.